Words don't have meaning without context, okay? Um, my wife refers to me as honey. That's accepted and okay between us. If we were walking down the street together and a strange woman referred to me as honey, <laughs> that wouldn't be acceptable. The understanding is I have some sort of relationship with my wife. Hopefully, I have no relationship with this strange woman. <laughs> It's the same thing with words within the African-American community, or within any community. Uh, my wife, with her girlfriend, will use the word bitch. I do not join in. I don't, you know, say, hey, I want to... I don't do that. I don't do that. And perhaps more importantly, I don't have a desire to do it. You, you understand? I had a, you know, a good friend who used to have this um, cabin in upstate New York which he referred to as the white trash cabin. He was white. I would never refer to that cabin. I would never tell him I'm coming to your white trash cabin. <laughs> I just wouldn't do that. I, and and I, you know what I mean? I think you understand why I wouldn't do it. The question one must ask is why so many white people have difficulty extending things that are basic <laughs> laws, you know, of how human beings interact to black people. And I think I know why. <laughs> Um, when you're white in this country, you're taught that everything belongs to you. You think you had a right to everything. You had a right to go with you. I mean, and you're conditioned this way. It's not, you know, because you, you know, your hair is a texture or your skin is light. It's the fact that the laws and the culture tell you this. You had a right to go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be however, and people just got to accommodate themselves to you. So here comes this word that, you know, you feel like you invented. <laughs> And now somebody will tell you how to use the word that you invented. You know, what? Well, why can't I use it? Everyone else gets to use it. You know what, that's racism that I don't get to use it. You know, that's racist against me. But there was a time when Irish, Italians, Jews, Eastern Europeans, they all weren't considered white. In fact, the Irish were commonly compared to blacks when they first came to the US and even lived and worked side by side with each other. But you had to earn your white card and it wasn't easy. Over time, the Irish, along with Germans, Italians, and other Europeans have been folded into this idea of whiteness, which is super helpful since the Naturalization Act of 1790 restricted naturalization to free white persons. When huge numbers of immigrants were coming to the U.S. at the turn of the 20th century, resources and jobs were scarce. European immigrants, like many of the Irish, locked down the cheapest and most menial jobs. They rose up by the time labor unions were forming and managed to keep black workers from joining. They also actively fought against the abolitionist movement. Now, obviously, there were exceptions to the rule, and no one label can describe an entire group of people. But for the most part, each group was willing to throw other groups under the bus to climb the social ladder. So as America kept expanding, the definition of whiteness had to expand. And as a card-carrying white person, you get all the privileges it entails, from better employment opportunities, access to higher education, and, you know, avoiding that pesky police brutality thing.
what white people have to do is try to find out in their own hearts why it was necessary to have a nigger in the first place. Because I'm not a nigger. I'm a man. But if you think I'm a nigger, it means you need it. The question you've got to ask yourself, the white population of this country has got to ask itself, north and south, because it's one country, and for a Negro, there is no difference in the north and the south. There's just a, you know, a difference in the way they, in a way they castrate you. But, that's, but the fact of the castration is the American fact. If I'm not a nigger here, and the, you invented him, you, the white people, invented him, then you've got to find out why. Well... And the future of the country depends on that, whether or not it's able to ask that question.